Good morning, Rundle Academy. Today, I want to talk to you about a topic that I find interesting. Are esports a sport? Esports, or electronic sports, is a professional playing of video games. The season four of League of Legends World Championships had a total of 27 million unique viewers. And during the grand finals, which were featured on ESPN, 11.5 million viewers watched live. As well, for those of you who think video games are a terrible waste of time, it featured a $2.1 million prize pool. The game League of Legends is often considered the king of esports, always boasting the biggest prize pool with a fan base so large it rivals the Super Bowl. On Reddit, the season four of League of Legends World Championships got more views than the Super Bowl, the release of the biggest video game of all time, Grand Theft Auto V, and Game 7 of the NBA 2012-2013 Finals, combined. One more stat, after all, this is a sports talk. <laughs> Baseball, America's favorite pastime, right? Well, in the USA, more players play League of Legends than baseball. For those of you who do not know, League of Legends is played in a five versus five format with only four maps and 124 different characters to play as. But only anyone plays one map, Summoner's Rift. The characters in League of Legends are often referred to as champions. The map is divided into three lanes with a jungle connecting them all together. The objective that both teams are working towards is to destroy the other team's base known as the Nexus. The Nexus is guarded by two turns around it, plus three turns and an inhibitor in each lane. Players must use small creatures known as minions for cover, otherwise the turns will just wreck your face. Destroying the inhibitor, which is behind the three turns in every lane, makes more powerful minions spawn. This is just the basics of the gameplay and the competitive format for League of Legends. League of Legends will undoubtedly remain the apex of esports for a while and still rival traditional sports. So here's the question. Are esports real sports? What defines a sport? I think a sport is something that requires skill, physical, or mental work. Esports, no doubt, require intense mental work. Or is a sport simply a game turned competitive? If a sport requires physical work, why are golf and curling sports? They don't require you to sweat. <laughs> is it because they're outdoors or on ice? Does the location of a game define if it's a sport? People may argue that golf and curling take countless hours of practice, but don't esports do as well? Pro gamers play for tens of thousands of hours. So does time to find a sport? It is unlikely that we'll ever be able to agree on a definition of a word like sport. But esports are now considered to be a second tier Olympic sport, and the USA also accepts pro gamers' visas, recognizing them as professional athletes. Over the spring break, I was on a cruise in the Bahamas that left from Florida. I wore an eSports shirt with a team logo, and five people told me they liked my shirt. This is in North America, which is generally considered one of the less pro eSports continents, only ahead of Antarctica, and well, polar bears don't have opposable thumbs, so. <laughs> the real shocker is, I only wore the shirt for half a day. I believe this proves, and then some, how popular esports are nowadays. You may say I'm a nerd, but you can't say I don't have friends. <laughs> Speaking of popular esports, why don't we bring up the fastest growing esport? Counter Strike Global Offensive is a tactical first person shooter game. Counter Strike Global Offensive, or CSGO, originated from Counter Strike 1.6 and Counter Strike Source is played in a 5 versus 5 format, best of 30 rounds. Unlike Call of Duty, there's no 9 year old screaming in your ear. No, I kid the 9 year olds, no one plays Call of Duty anymore. <laughs> Counter-Strike is on the way up. Counter-Strike is one of the most rapidly growing esports. So rapidly growing, in 16 months, viewership went from 168,000 viewers at the first big tournament, DreamHack 2013 in Jopping, Sweden, to over one million at the Intel Extreme Masters won 2015 in Katowice, Sweden, the latest big tournament, showing a 602% increase in viewership in the last 16 months. I don't think any sport has had that in quite some time. Esports is even commanding the attention of big businesses, 
bands, and celebrities. The band Imagine Dragons recently created the song Warriors for League of Legends, and they performed it live at the Season 4 World Finals. Counter-Strike is so popular in Sweden that McDonald's made a new burger available only in Sweden, the McNib, named after the Counter-Strike team, Ninjas in Pajamas. The reason the Ninjas in Pajamas got this greasy reward was because they were the best team in the world. They even went on an 87-game winning streak, only losing to rivals Virtus Pro by one round, not unlike how the Toronto Raptors, despite all odds, handed the soon-to-be NBA champions, the Chicago Bulls, one of their only 10 losses in the 1996 season. Just like the start of traditional pro sports, Counter-Strike was lacking prize money, but that all changed when the two competitive gaming giants, ESEA and ESL, joined forces to bring a $1 million CSGO league, creatively named the ESEA ESL Pro League. <laughs> Along with this announcement, rumors sparked around the potential sale of the ESL company to a Swedish TV giant for not tens of dollars, not thousands of dollars, not millions, but for around 80 to 100 million dollars. Their closest rival, G Fandy, which is still miles behind DSL, is on the London Stock Exchange for 30 million US dollars. I don't know any sport that went from not existing to 100 million dollar companies in less than five years. With the billions of dollars involved, the millions of fans, and the hours of labor it takes to master each individual aspect of esports, I don't see reason as to why they're not real sports. I'm not saying esports are going to replace traditional sports, but we need to accept that the world of sports is becoming much more diverse. And you know what? I think that's awesome. Thank you.